So here we're going to do a quick scan preliminary just down the great venous vein on the left side before we mark it fully. We're just finding the great venous vein in the groin, the sphenofemoral junction. There's a large anterior accessory sphenous vein exiting to the lateral side on the right. The great venous vein continues down inside the fascia. And at this point, there's a tributary coming off. And on the diagnostic scan, it's suggested that it might become a bit atrophic at this point. In fact, it's not looking too bad there, so it, we should be able to get all the way up with the endovenous device. Now, this is quite important if we've suggested there's an atrophic segment, because if there is, and halfway through the procedure, we can't get the endovenous device all the way up, what we do is maybe make a second entry point above the atrophic area. So we would treat from distally up to the atrophic area. And then if we can't get any further than that, before we put the tumescence in, we'd do a second entry point just above the atrophic segment. So now we're going to mark the vein. So we're happy that it looks fairly good all the way down. And we've chosen the entry site below the knee again on this side. So we find the saphenofemoral junction here, and we'll mark that. And then the anterior accessory saphenous vein is going off laterally, which we'll come back to. And we follow the great saphenous vein down. It's still within the saphenous fascia, so we know it's uh, in the position we want to put tumescence into. It's completely patent. And as we come down, we make little marks all the way down. If we were using the venous closure fast system, we would need to make these six and a half to seven centimeters apart, so we'd know exactly how much each section would require to be treated. However, using a continuous technique, such as endovenous laser or the RFITT device uh, for radio frequency, those ones are not specific for each treatment section. So as long as we have regular intervals to put the tumescence into, uh, we're quite happy. The vein is coming to the surface now, and so we're choosing the point of entry, which is going to be optimal for the surgeon, and that's about that position there. So there's lots of tributaries coming off. That's the longitudinal view we have, which is quite nice to cannulate. So we'll mark that as the end of the uh, marking and also the beginning of the endovenous surgical point, and that's the entry point we've selected.